What's going on guys? I'm Phil with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about air ride for trucks because I've seen a lot of questions around it and it's actually really different from what you might find on a car. Now granted the, the concept is really the same. You've got uh, a bag which fills with air uh, that then affects the ride of your vehicle. But you know, on cars, there's companies out there that sell complete repla replacement systems, which means essentially you unbolt your stock coilovers or whatever your particular uh, vehicle has, take them out and then bolt in these new air struts. So it's basically like a coilover that doesn't have a coil over, it's an it's a airbag. Uh, and then you can adjust the ride height with whatever management system you choose to go with. There's lots of different ones out there. I'm not gonna dive really deep into it because this is a truck channel, not a car channel, but if you wanna learn more about that kind of stuff, uh, we also do have a sister company called Fitment Industries and they've messed with air a ton. They've got air ride on their E30. They switched from static to air, so uh, there's a lot going on there. So when it comes to trucks, there's different types of air ride. And like I said, it's just not quite the same as on a car. So a lot of people, if you're coming from the car world and then you buy a truck and you're like, all right, I wanna put air ride on this thing for the lift kit, it doesn't quite work that way. Now on a car, like I said, you could replace the complete suspension system, but in trucks, that's just not really an option. Nobody sells the kits like that. Now there is one company called Kelderman and they do sell like full replacement kits for um, you know, putting air ride on your truck where you're taking out the stock suspension and putting it in, in something else. But uh, right now they're primarily only offering that for like stock height and leveled applications, not necessarily something lifted. So like I said, it just doesn't quite work the same as on a car where, you know, your goal with a car is usually to lower it. Not many people lift cars, but I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. So your goal is to lower it. Most people who buy trucks, their goal is to lift it. So that's where the difference is. Now you can put air ride on a truck if you're looking to lower it. Most of that stuff is all completely custom and requires lots of fab work and it's just not, it's not a, you buy it online, it ships to your house and you put it on yourself kind of deal. But there is air ride available for trucks that is like that, it's just not quite the same. Which I feel like I've said 30 times, but I think you get the point. So the most common way people use air on trucks is for helper bags. So what that is, is essentially there's those air struts uh, on, the, on the rear of the vehicle, but they're not necessarily struts on trucks because you've got a solid axle. So typically a helper bag is gonna be something that's placed on top of whatever factory suspension you have, or if you have a lift kit or something like that to aid that stock suspension. It helps your stock suspension out. So the reason why people do this is not to increase the ride height of the vehicle, they do it for towing reasons. If you tow a really heavy fifth wheel camper, camper or something like that, and it squats the back of your truck, people use airbags to then bring that back up and it helps level the load. So that's like the most common way that people use air ride on trucks. Now, Ram went out there and did something completely crazy and offered factory air ride on vehicles. So that's a whole nother ball game. Now that's more similar to the car scene where you have air on all four corners and you can adjust the ride height of that vehicle. They've got you know an economy mode that pretty much drops it down so that you have the best aerodynamics and get the best fuel economy. Uh, and it's like easy in, I think they call it, where it drops down so it's easier to get in and out of the truck. And then they also have off-road and off-road two settings, which lift the truck up to give you more clearance. So they did this on uh, the Ram Rebel as an option. And then a lot of the like 2019 and newer Rams, uh, you can get factory air ride on as well. Now with those trucks, for the longest time, you couldn't really do anything with them because it was so new. Uh, eventually, they came out with things called leveling links, which is basically tricking the air system uh, so it allows you to kind of stretch that factory suspension to make it taller. It's similar to a leveling kit, but it's really just these links that you put on the end of the little control arms, I guess you would call it, for that air ride suspension. Now, there are companies out there though that offer true lift kits for these things. I know Rough Country's got a five inch kit for the Air Ride Rams. Uh, BDS has a, has a four inch kit that's really nice. And those still retain 100% of the functionality of your factory air. So that means you'll be lifted four inches, but from that four inches, you can still go down a little bit or up a little bit, which is really nice. It gives you that option. Now, most of the time in the lifted truck world, you know, people just want a set ride height. They're putting a six inch lift on because they want the six inch lift to fit a certain size wheel and tire package. So I don't know that you'll necessarily move it around a ton. And if you're looking to put a lift kit on your vehicle, I don't know that right off the bat that I would spend the extra money to actually get an air ride truck uh, if you're just gonna take, you know, the main function of it out. 
So that kind of covers air ride on a very, very basic level for the people that are wondering, can you put air ride on a truck? And the answer is you can, but it just doesn't work the same as what people think about when they think of an air ride car. You know, people use it to dial in their fitment, get that fender to lip fitment. It's not as exactly for fitment on trucks. Most of the time, it's just two bags out rear to help with towing, unless you go with something like a Kelderman kit that I talked about, where they have got, you know, a two-stage uh, front system where you take out your factory suspension and replace it completely uh, with these new air struts. So that's a little bit about air. If you guys have more questions on it or you want us to get into it, let us know in the comments down below. It's not something that we've really dabbled into uh, other than like some of the Rams that we sell the kits for. But if you guys want us to do more videos about air ride or more videos about helper bags or anything like that, uh, please let us know down in the comments below because we'll definitely dig into it and check it out for you guys. Otherwise, if you won't need to know anything about wheels, tire suspension, that's kind of what we do. You can find all of that stuff at customoffsets.com. Peace. Bye.